All right, you guys, I got some mail in and I figured I'd open it for you on camera. The uh, first envelope here comes from Shelby, North Carolina. And I am just going to cut it open like that. I'm gonna pull this thing out of here. And this is what happens to the uncirculated sets, the little registration cards that they used to put in old uh, uncirculated sets. So if you wanted to order them on a yearly basis, somebody reused those. So that's good that they recycled on the little reorder forms. And we'll open this up. And that, my friends, is a very bad way to package coins. See all those staples there? That is a horrible way. This is easy to open, which is usually the problem with eBay packages. They're hard to open. This one is easy to open. But that is ridiculous. That is a great way to destroy coins, especially old coins. So we're gonna get that out of here. And it looks like here they are Sacagaweas. And these are from, I gotta look that up. They're the P&D, let me turn on the light here. The wrong light, there we go. These are from, let me see, I don't want to take them out without the gloves. 2011, so these are 2011 Sacagaweas. And I got a really good deal on them, both the P and D, they're from the uncirculated sets. And you can see the design they had on the back that year. So that is for my Sacagawea album that I am working on. And I love uncirculated coins, I think that really boosts the um, desirability of an album. So this next one is from Oxnard, California, and I feel a coin right here, and it doesn't feel like there's anything but that one coin. So I'm gonna open it up right on the side here. I really love it when these eBay sellers package things in such a way where it's easy to open. And this looks like one of them. Looks like this person either works at Aaron's this is Aaron's five point inspection. This is where you would write something on a price tag. And at least this one's really easy to get into. I like that. I hate when people go crazy with tape. I hate when people go crazy with staples. You know, it's so annoying. This is a beautiful quarter. And uh, for my Washington quarter album, this is a 1941, and I hope those aren't scratch marks there, because that kind of looks like the coin's been scratched a little bit. Let me get it out of here. And this is supposed to be in BU condition. Good, it's not scratched like it appeared through the plastic. It's a pretty nice coin. It could be a little nicer. Oh, there are some scratches there. I might send this back, I don't know. I really hate the fact that those are scratches and I don't know if I can trust the seller on getting a new one here without scratches. It's a beautiful coin, but you guys could see there are some just minor scratches on that left side there. You can kind of see it there on the camera. Man, I hate that. All right, so then we've got another package, and this one is from Roanoke, Virginia, from Mary. It's a good name, Mary. Hopefully she's a subscriber. I'll take this out. Let me remove the invoice here. So that way, those of you who have stocking tendencies can't stalk me. Although that would definitely make me feel like I've reached a milestone on YouTube, that's for sure. Really feel like a celebrity, and they put it in this nice little paper envelope, which is nice. I hate when they put them in paper envelopes and they staple all around them, so unnecessary. Feels like there's a plastic bag inside here too, so I'm gonna cut at the top. And nope, it's just a plastic flip. And this is a 1978 proof Kennedy half. This is one of the Kennedy halves one of the last ones that I need 
to complete my Kennedy half collection. And for some reason, I did not have a 1978 proof. And look at that, that has some deep cameo going on. Let's see if it's, in order to be qualified as uh, cameo or deep cameo from the grading companies, it has to occur on both sides of the coin. And sure enough, you've got a really nice cameo on the back and a very nice one on the front. Very cool coin. So I think this completes my uh, JFK set. And then, let's see here, got one more package and this one is from Portland, Oregon. And I'll look and see what's in here. All right, this one's pretty well packaged, but it's packaged in the invoice like so many of them do. So I'm gonna take this out off of camera and they put this in one of these nice little coin envelopes that are very easy to open. I'm not sure what this is. I think I know what it is. Yep, it's a quarter. And this is a 1943. It's supposed to be in BU condition, although I would say this is more AU. I mean, I see the luster on it, but it just doesn't look like a BU coin. Let's look at the back of this. Yeah, I would say this is more of an AU. I mean, it's got that cartwheel effect, that's for sure. But it definitely, I would say the first quarter I got here is much nicer. Can you see the difference here? This is the first quarter with the scratches. Even though it has the scratches, that's more BU than this one. So this is AU. All right, did I get anything else today? I don't think so. You know, it's really irritating when you pay big money. I paid, let's see here, $13 for the 1943. So $13 and it does say high grade Oh, it doesn't say BU on the item title, just high grade. I usually buy them if they say BU. I just thought I bought it as a BU coin, so I guess they didn't do anything wrong. My mistake, but you know, you pay big money for some of these coins, like this 1941 quarter with the scratches. Oh, this one I paid like $15 for it. It's just irritating that they didn't package it in a way, something, it was kind of sticking out of the, the plastic a little bit and clearly there's, that's what's to blame. So I am so uh, happy about get, making some major progress on my Washington Quarter album. I finished my Kennedy Half album and I'm about done, or I'm, pre I'm making some good progress on my Sacagawea uh, album. So I'm really happy that this album is now done. This is getting near done. I just need the rest of the 30s and the rest of the 40s, and I've already got a fair amount of them. And then I've also got a, almost a fair amount of these, like almost done with this one. Well, a little ways to go, but almost done. So uh, I, I wanna go through and upgrade some coins that I saw in my Franklin Half album. So if any of you guys have any BU quality Franklin halves and you happen to have any of the ones that I need, if you have several of them, I might make another video and post this offer, but I would be willing to trade for really nice BU um, Franklin halves for the, you know, I've got a nice 10 ounce silver bar from uh, Atmex. It's one of those Atmex stacker bars. Cause I'd really like to, I have all of the BU uh, coins I mean, I have the, all the coins for that album, but there's about four or five of them that I think are kind of subpar after looking at the album that I'd like to replace because I'd really like that to be a BU quality album. The coins are cheap still. Uh, it's not always going to be like that, and I'd like to get them while they're still fairly affordable. So I might put up another video. I'd be interested in trading some of my silver off for some coins um, just because, like I said, I like to upgrade the coins that are there. I also have a couple extra peace dollars that are in MS condition and just a, quite a few little things I'd be willing to trade uh, for something of equivalent value. So I'll put up another video and kind of show off some of the things I have to trade. And I'm not sure um, 
how that would all work. You know, you send me the package, I send you the package at the same time, or how do we go about it? But I'm sure we could work out some sort of deal. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, you guys. Take care. Have a great day.